so there's some interesting things about vitamin D that I want to share with you today. Uh, first of all, vitamin D is actually stored in your fat cells. So if you get too much sun or you take too much vitamin D from a supplement, that excess goes to your fat cells to be stored and used when you need it. On the flip side, the more fat you are, the more vitamin D you're going to need simply because it's more dispersed throughout the body. And so people that are obese rarely get vitamin D toxicity because they have a huge capacity to store vitamin D. But usually people that are obese are not getting enough vitamin D. Uh, first of all, from the sun, it has to penetrate a larger fat layer, which makes it more difficult to absorb. Secondly, most everyone, including overweight people, are just not getting enough vitamin D. In fact, it's impossible to get it from your foods, and unless they're taking it on a regular basis, chances are they're going to be deficient. But my point is that overweight people are more deficient than thinner people. And that probably also has to do with them having a lot of insulin resistance. And when your receptors for insulin are downgraded or uh, resisting insulin, they're also resisting vitamin D. Now, there's a couple studies on this, um, and there's a lot of variables, but one study indicated that you can, if you have enough vitamin D in your fat cells, you can last for about 84 days. But again, who has enough vitamin D? And also, when you get tested uh, from the lab, they usually only test the pre-vitamin D, not the active vitamin D. So there's also this question of conversion. Vitamin D as a precursor has to go through the liver and then eventually the kidney to be converted to the active form of vitamin D, which by the way, only lasts 15 hours in your body. And so if there's any problem with your liver and especially kidney, if you're a diabetic, for example, you're going to have a problem converting vitamin D. And even if you get tested and it shows normal, it doesn't mean that you're actually getting the active form of vitamin D. Now, there's a couple other points I want to mention. The need for vitamin D goes up the less magnesium you have in your body, the less B6 you have in your body, which I didn't list there, the less calcium you have in your body. You need more vitamin D if you have osteoporosis, if there's more inflammation, as in an autoimmune disease or arthritis in general. You need more vitamin D if you're going through an infection. And the big point I want to bring up is if there's any problem with your kidney or your liver, if you have a fatty liver, if you have cirrhosis, the inactive vitamin D, even if you're taking supplements to the active form of vitamin D, and it's going to be really hard to pick that up in a blood test. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.